part two of May 2018 transits. Now, if you don't know your sidereal Vedic moon sign, then click on the link below and you'll be able to find that out. Don't worry if you don't know your precise time of birth. Um, you could just use midday or something like that. Sometimes the moon, it will jump to different houses, but the sign should stay the same. And that's really all we're after for these readings. So find out your moon sign and then you can come back and have a look at the description below. And I'm going to put timestamps as to when your sign is going to be playing so that that way you can just watch your news and carry on with your day. So if you are a Libra moon, welcome Libra. Thanks for joining. Now I'm going to take you through your fast moving planets really quickly. And then I'm going to take you quickly through your slow moving planets so you can see what to expect for this month. So in terms of fast moving, we've got Mars making a move. Um, the 2nd of May, Mars is going to shift from your third house to the fourth house. Now, over the past little while with Mars, you probably had a good time with him being in the third house. You probably had good wealth or good courage or good strength. Uh, you know, things have probably been nice there to do with your Mars energy. This is going to change a little bit as he moves into the fourth. So what you're going to want to do is keep calm uh, in all your relationships, basically, especially relationships with family. You're just, you might be tested there a little bit. You might just want to stay calm and, and smooth relationships out with the family. Um, and now that you're aware of the news, you know, if things start happening around you, you'll know, you're prepared, so, so that's all good. Uh, this is also a good time to take care of your health and um, anything to do with property dealings as well. Uh, you might just want to take a bit of extra care there and this is running through till I'm pretty sure it's early November, so just take care uh, on that front there. We've got Mercury transitioning on the 9th of May, shifting from your 6th house to your 7th house. So you've probably had a good time with Mercury being in that sixth house there in terms of money, career, being noticed, being recognized, um, being given responsibility, that kind of thing. But now as it moves into the seventh, uh, this is not such a great placement for Mercury. You could have work seniors scrutinizing your work more closely. Um, you know, you might have some interesting things arise with relationships around you, especially when it comes to work and possibly to do with your spouse, basically, um, you know, close partnerships, anything like that. So, you know, there's some, uh, I can see that with Mars and Mercury might have to smooth relationships uh, or things might come up there. Venus on the 14th of May shifts from your eighth house to the ninth house. And this is all looking really, really good really good. So you've had a good time with money due to Venus energy. Uh, again, good time hopefully with your partner and that's running through, well that's, yeah, I mean that's actually running through to the 14th of May and, and it should be okay after that too, depending on how Mercury is for you. But well, uh, Venus is giving you good energy, that's what I'm seeing. Good time, you've probably had a good time possibly studying something or digging deep on something or finding information, even finding a hidden talent within yourself. Uh, and with Venus, the good times are just going to keep on rolling. You're going to have your good luck and prosperity is going to be up. Possibilities for travel potentially and uh, it's a time to deepen your spirituality as well. Um, health is looking good too, thanks to the Venus energy here. Sun on the 15th of May is going to shift from your 7th house to the 8th house. So it looks like this is, this is some challenging energy right here. Perhaps you've had some challenges to do with work. I know we're seeing that coming up there with the Mercury as well. Um, and as well, you're going to have to take care of your relationship with your partner, uh, take care of your health as well. And yes expenses possibly a little bit of spike uh, you know hiking hiking expenditure that kind of thing but um, just keep an eye on that don't worry too much it doesn't look like anything major but uh, but I'm just glad to see Venus is giving you some really nice energy there so that's really really good your slow moving transits now 
This is actually fantastic news. Saturn retrograde in the third house till January 2020. This is wonderful. And this is what I call a platform building time. Saturn is very slow moving as we can see. He's going to be in this area till January 2020. So you've got quite a while here. And Saturn is, I mean, this is a celebration time for you. Seven and a half years of Sadi Sati is over. Uh, so Saturn is going to want to reward you and give you a lot of good things. So for starters, you're hopefully going to be experiencing a boost in confidence and you're going to have a lot of opportunities come your way. Uh, really good opportunities and what I call platform building time. So what do I mean by that? I mean that like it's, it's, it's a new platform in your life. You know when you're working, working, working and it's a daily grind and then all of a sudden one day you're promoted and a whole new level of life opens up to you and or you buy a property or you have a child or you know these really big things that are kind of life changing and, and it's that next platform up in life or you get married or big things and it can just be a promotion. You know, it can just be a shift in your work. It can be a transition. It can be a career transition as well. Um, but this is a really good time. Saturn wants to give you lots of uh, good opportunities. So just keep saying yes. Keep saying yes to the universe because good things are coming your way thanks to Saturn. Um, this should be a good time socially as well and a uh, good time to spend with family too. So this is, this is really nice. Saturn is providing you with really good energy and he's one of the most important ones. I always think Saturn and the moon are the most important. Um, that's, that's where you get the most benefits. So Jupiter, and that is Libra moon, Saturn. This is, this is the big story uh, that you've got going on here. Jupiter retrograde uh, in your first house till October 2018. So again, this could be, Jupiter could be a little bit like some of the other planets. So, and this does depend on your chart as well. You see, if, if your chart, you know, you've got a really strong Saturn, you could really be feeling the good effects of that. And that could surpass whatever else is going on in the chart depends on your unique chart so if you've got a lot of Jupiter energy and Jupiter is in retrograde um, this can bring on some challenges uh, especially in relationships um, but it's a really fantastic time to develop and grow spiritually so if you've got spiritual gifts intuition all those things that you want to heighten or improve or you know uh, make some headway on growing then you can definitely do that so I'm going to jump into Scorpio Moon. Scorpio, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to take a look at your fast moving planets and then we're going to take a look at your slow moving planets just really quickly at a high level. So for fast moving, we've got Mars stepping into from your second house to the third house on the 2nd of May. Uh, now this is kind of interesting. It seems like you've been having a bit of a tough time possibly with your relationships and we're talking family relationships there for the last few weeks say for example um, but now I think things are really set to improve Mars really likes being in the third house so this is really good news for you there's going to be increased wealth uh, opportunities work opportunities your confidence should be at a high and strength power courage all of these things should be readily available to you so that's fantastic We've got Mercury on the 9th of May shifting from your 5th house to the 6th house. Uh, possibly you may have been experiencing some arguments with people around you, quite possibly at work. But now Mercury really likes being in the 6th house, so this is really good news. Uh, that's after the 9th of May, so you know wealth opportunities, your health should start picking up more. Still be careful with seniors at work, they might be a little bit critical over you, but... Um, crack on this is really really good energy for you venus on the 14th of may is going to shift from the seventh to the eighth house so perhaps you've been experiencing maybe some troubles with your partner uh, or close relationships close partnerships especially but venus is going to help you i think it's going to help smooth out troubles um, after the 14th of may things should get better in your relationship with your partner uh, if you're in love, that's that's wonderful. So the things should improve. And uh, singles, great time to get out and mingle. It's cheesy, I know, but I have to say it. Um, <laughs> 
single people always want to know sun 15th of may is shifting from the sixth to the seventh house what's happening here so we've got so you've had okay so sun does like being in the uh sixth house yes it definitely does and you've probably experienced a relief in in your health probably maybe had a bit of an energy boost or been feeling good now though with sun moving into seventh house this may be a source of or a cause of energy drain you might feel your energy drain a bit you might experience some challenges at work and there may be some ex increased expenditure so just be careful of that if we take a look at the slow moving planets we've got saturn retrograde in your second house that looks like till january 2020 ah uh, so yes you are you're going through your last phase of Saturday, South East Scorpio moon. Okay, this is, yeah, you've, if you have been having a tough time, this is probably the reason. Uh, you know, gosh, and, and, and Saturday, South East is not a fun time. So perhaps you've been experiencing a heavy heart there. Um, perhaps relationships around you are a bit strained. Um, you've had to work really, really hard. You're probably working really hard every day. Uh, it's that seven and a half year period, Saturday, South East. Of course, you're in the last phase of it, but it's not fun. And um, just, just try to, just try to be good to yourself. You know, love you, love yourself look after yourself nurture yourself and be good to your family and hopefully um they're they're being good to you during this this time that um that isn't so great uh side south it doesn't always have to be a bad time by the way i've seen many people who go through it they don't even know they're in it they're just like oh okay um i've also seen many people go through it and really good things happen to them uh, they buy properties and, and do things and you know have children and i've seen amazing things happen so it's not all bad but there there will be some aspect of your mind that is feeling pressure okay so you know it doesn't stop things from happening but um in, internally you, you'll be feeling something somewhere jupiter is in retrograde uh as well in your 12th house till october 2018 that's Kind of saying to me mixed results here so yes yeah, so, i mean you could have a spending hike uh, it's happening in the 12th house there losses you know um great time for spiritual activities so great time for anything spiritual trips spending time alone being in solitude um you know yeah so we've got spending hike there your business may slow down or your work or, or whatever that is but definitely anything to do with spirituality great time for you there jupiter likes being there for that reason all right sagittarius moon welcome sagittarius thank you so much for joining us i'm going to take you through your fast moving planets for this month and your slow moving planets for this month let's take a look at what's going on so mars on the 2nd of may is going to shift from your first house to the second house um, you've probably had expenses you probably had Perhaps a bit of a tricky time at work even or something to do with your business uh, hasn't been brilliant now mars is transitioning into the second house it's not the best transit um you know you might experience a bit of an energy drain you might be tired so just look after your health don't extend yourself too much don't put too much pressure on yourself and uh, maintain smooth relationships with people around you okay so especially family things might get a little bit tense here and there but uh, just don't worry too much about that um, if you need time out you need time out so don't hesitate to take it uh, mercury on the 9th of may is going to shift from your fourth house to the fifth house this looks like it's been good for you income should have been good to this to the 9th of may study perhaps you've been studying or perhaps you've been enjoying learning something new um, now with this transition Mercury doesn't particularly like being in the fifth, so there could be arguments around you. Um, you might have to concentrate harder if you're studying. So it's going to be an interesting time there. Venus on the 14th of May shifts from your sixth house to the seventh house. Uh, okay, now Venus doesn't like being in the sixth, and things could have been argumentative. Um, things are still going to be a little bit tough. Venus again isn't the happiest in the seventh so things could be a little bit tough with your partner 
Uh, so just bear that in mind and, um, and also business-related things, but mainly partner and, and love. So just, just go easy with your partner there. Uh, keep calm and carry on, that sort of thing. Um, sun on the 15th of May is going to shift from the 5th house to the 6th house. So you've had a bit of a tough time, it would seem, at work. But now that should ease up. That should ease up. Money should ease up. Money should increase. Wealth should increase for you now. Um, you should be more successful, and you should. There, you know, this is even a really good time for travel as well. So that's what's happening with your fast-moving planets. Let's take a look at your slow-moving planets. We've got Saturn retrograde in the first house till January 2020. Okay, so you've got Saturn on the moon here, and in the Vedic system, we call this the Sadi Sathe period. If things have been tough for you, I, I can just say that I feel for you. I mean, it's you know, it's that seven and a half year period of Sadi Sathe where Saturn comes up to your moon, then it sits on your moon, and then it goes past the moon, and it's this this whole period isn't nice, and your Saturn is right on your moon. Um, you know, this isn't perhaps the best of times uh, when it comes to Saturn, but Saturn is brilliant because if you work with him, you will be such an amazing person. He's a hard taskmaster, but he wants the best from you and he knows that you have a lot to give. The idea with Saturn is that you be honest with yourself at all times, okay? If you can do that, you can pretty much ride through this phase quite easily. Um, Saturn rewards hard work. Uh, you know, he wants you to work hard. Um, you know, he wants you to be organized. He wants you to keep your house clean and donate things you don't need to charity. He loves all of that. Um, and it's and Saturn loves as well just this the, 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 the incremental progress you can you can make in your days. What little things can you keep doing to keep incrementally improving your days? Saturn doesn't want to see great big actions. He wants to see you do lots of little things really, really well. So just keep doing that. Just keep building in good habits as you go. I always say Sadi Sati period is a great time if you've got a project. I kind of call it Groundhog Day for seven and a half years. And if you've got a project or something that you want to do or master, this is a really good time to do that. So if you want to become like a brilliant jazz pianist, now's a really good time to just keep practicing the piano a little bit every single day and you'll come out absolutely uh, as a master you know so I I love Saturn personally I think Saturn's brilliant but I've been through Sade Sathi and I tell you it wasn't wasn't a great time it was not one of my favorite times uh, at all it was quite tough so if you are going through a tough time at least now you have a reason now you know why okay um, Jupiter is in retrograde uh, in your 11th house till October 2018. Oh, thank goodness for this. This is great news. Okay, you've got some good energy going on here. So things are getting tough with Saturn. Think about Jupiter. Try and feel some of that Jupiterian energy. Uh, maybe wear yellow or something. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure yellow is his color, isn't it? Uh, good. This is a good time. Networks expand. Opportunities for work should be hopefully coming in. Growth, this is great for love, romance, your relationship with children should be good. Uh, so if you've got kids, this is great. Um, good in terms of wealth, wishes fulfilled, you know, if you're single, get out and mingle. Don't tell them about Saturn, don't tell them about Sadi Sati. Who needs Saturn when you've got Jupiter in the 11th house, hey? So Sagittarius Moon, take care. And welcome Capricorn Moon. Welcome, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to take you through your fast moving planets for this month and your slow moving planets. So let's get stuck in. Mars on the 2nd of May is shifting from the 12th to the first house. So if you've been feeling a bit tired, run down, energy drain, anything like that, you'll know why. Could be to do with Mars. Um, perhaps there's been pressure on your finances, increased expenditure, that kind of thing. It's quite possible. Um, when he moves into your first house, you are this is still going to carry on a little bit. So you, you're going to have to just work on your health and not overextend yourself too much or not do too much. You might just have to go easy. 
um, for a bit. Mercury on the 9th of May is shifting from the third house to the fourth house. Um, here's another energy drain place as well. High expenses, yeah. But, no, no, well, Mercury's moving to the fourth. This is really, really good. No, this is good. Okay, so it might have been tough up until the ninth, but after the ninth, really good time. Uh, income should increase. And if you're going to study something, brilliant time. If you need concentration, if you need to write something, perform, anything like that, uh, this is a really good time. Venus, 14th of May, shifts from the 5th house to the 6th house. This is a really good transit. Aha, no, yes, Venus is going to be moving, moving into the 6th house. Venus doesn't like being in the 6th house, but you, you're having a good time. So up until the 14th of May, this is a good transit for love, romance, um, relationship with your children, if you've got exams on, uh, you know, any, anything like that. Anything to do with creativity as well is really good. But then when Venus moves into the 6th after the 14th of May, just be careful. That is going to be a bit of a tough time, especially to do with your partner, someone that you love, that kind of thing. Just um, just bear that in mind that you know there might be a bit of shift in energy there. And just don't take it personally, you know. Um, these transits happen and... and and that's all, you know, Venus is going to pick up really quickly for you again, so don't worry. These are the fast-moving planets, so they kind of change quite frequently. Uh, Sun on the 15th of May shifts from your fourth house to the fifth house. So, yeah, this isn't such a brilliant transit. So it looks like it's been tough for you and it's going to continue to be a little bit tough. Um, mental tension, stress, issues at work, issues with seniors, that kind of thing. Uh, so just, you know, now's not the time to put the foot on the accelerator pedal, I think, when it comes to work. I mean, that's looking like that across the board, isn't it? So, yeah, and that's okay. You know, you're a very hardworking uh, Capricorn moon, so it's time for a bit of chill out, I think. You just need to relax, maybe. Um, and that's okay. That's that's good. Slow moving planets. Let's have a look. We've got Saturn retrograde in your twelfth house till January twenty twenty. Okay, so you are in Sadi Sati. This is um, yeah. This is a bit of a tough time. And Sadi Sati is um, is definitely a bit of a tough time. That's quite a long period of Saturn is coming up to the moon. He sits on the moon and then he comes off the moon. And and always I think that that period of time when he's coming up to the moon, that's when there's a lot of fear of the unknown and all that kind of thing. So all I can say is that there's no re need to fear the unknown. Um, just keep working hard. Just keep and not not hard hard as in like too hard as in like working incrementally. So it's about doing continuous improvement type activities. So a little bit every day kind of thing. And building in good new habits. That's really the best thing that we can do at this time. You know, it's like building in that little five minutes of meditation every day. Building in you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to write five things I'm grateful for. Those little tiny things that over time make such a big difference. It's kind of like compound interest, but for spirituality. You know what I mean? Like five little bits of gratitude every day. And then you've got this gratitude bank account that's like, you know, massive kind of thing. So um, so that's Sadi Sati. Don't worry too much. Uh, I, I've seen people have had a really good time during Sade Sati, you know, things improve. Um, they buy property or they have children, but it might be there's just some aspect where within you, inside you, somewhere to do with your mind, there's just pressure. Sorry about that Capricorn moon. The camera just froze. It did that yesterday as well. I'm going to have to figure this out. There's something not right. I'll just move the camera a bit to the side. I think that's better. Okay. Jupiter is in retrograde. I think we finished with Saturn. I think maybe maybe Saturn energy just came in and, and cut the camera off. I have no idea. 
Jupiter. Jupiter is in retrograde uh, in your 10th house till October 2018. So now this is not a terrific placement for Jupiter. Um, you know, there could be, you might be experiencing some negative thinking. Um, you know, you might be having to smooth relationships around you. Challenges are coming in the way, things like that. Uh, this is definitely a time to avoid conflicts, um, but great for spiritual growth and spiritual learning. Uh, with so many challenges around, you know, it's good to master some of those spiritual practices that can have you kind of taking things in and, and finding the win, 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 win in these difficult spots if you can. That's, that's the challenge for you right now it seems um great time to visit spiritual places as well if you can so as an overview i mean i think venus is really giving you the positive good stuff right now so tune into that beautiful venus energy if you can all right we're gonna hop into aquarius moon aquarius welcome thank you so much for joining me now we're going to take a look at your fast moving planets and then we're going to have a look at your slow moving planets uh, and I'm going to go quite quickly as we've got a few of these well we've got actually Aquarius and then we've got Pisces okay we're kind of we're almost done <laughs> fast moving planets Mars uh, on the 2nd of May is going to shift from your 11th house to your 12th house so this is this is good. This has been good. I think Mars has been good for you, having been in the 11th house. So you probably experienced some good support, good time socially, perhaps some growth to do with your business, perhaps growth, something to do with wealth, or expanding your networks, that kind of thing. Now Mars is shifting into the 12th. Mars doesn't particularly like being in the 12th. So um, there could be a drain on your health, drain on your energy, um, possibly more expenses at this time nothing major but just these are just things to bear in mind that if these things are happening then don't take it personally and don't push yourself too hard okay just just ride it out these transits they do change so so don't don't worry too much there uh, mercury on the 9th of may is going to shift from uh, your second house to the third house okay so this has been good for you income wise Perhaps you've been recognized in the workplace. That's up until the 9th of May. And then he moves into the third. Mercury doesn't particularly like being in the third. Uh, it's not one of the better places. So you might be experiencing energy drain, um, relationship issues. You might have to be smoothing relationships around you. You might also experience some higher expenses there as well. Uh, Venus though is looking fantastic thank goodness you've got some good news Aquarius moon Venus on the 14th of May is shifting from your fourth house to the fifth house this is really good so work hopefully you're being recognized um, you know this might even be time for for a promotion who knows but this is a really good time good time in terms of property uh, any dealings to do with property those should run smoothly Great time for family, great time to be in love, uh, good for romance. So if you're single, get out and mingle. Um, children, your relationship with your children should be good as well. So this is a really, really nice Venus transit. Lucky you, Aquarius moon. Enjoy that. Um, the sun on the 15th of May is going to shift from the third house to the fourth house. And... Yeah, I mean, Sun likes being in the third house. It's been a good time. Perhaps you've experienced some promotion in your work already or some progress to do with your work, but moving into the fourth, Sun doesn't perform so well in the fourth. There might be some stress, some tensions, especially to do with family, um, misunderstandings, that kind of thing. Just be careful um, with, with that. So, so it's a bit of a mixed bag with the fast moving planets there. Let's take a look at your slow moving planets. So you've got Saturn retrograde in your 11th house till January, 2020. Oh, this is fantastic. This is great. This is a platform building time for you. Wonderful. 
So ample opportunities. Look, this is great. Saturn is just going to keep giving you opportunities. You're going to be able to grow. Um, money should increase. Networks should increase. This should be a time to expand and uh, hopefully some good job, job opportunities coming your way. Um, yeah, growth. You'll overcome obstacles. This is brilliant. So enjoy that. That's till January 2020. Make the most of this platform building time. Build that next level up because then you're going to move into Sadisati period, which, as we know, uh, is seven and a half years of, I kind of call it Groundhog Day. It's kind of where, you know, things slow down a little bit and Saturn is approaching your moon. It doesn't have to be a bad time. It can be a really good time uh, if you know how to handle it and how to manage it. Um, but there's plenty of information on that. Let's have a look. Jupiter retrograde in your ninth house till October 2018. Uh, so this is really, really good. This is fantastic. Growth, financial growth, professional opportunities, um, good relationship with your bosses, with your seniors, opportunity for promotion is there. You might meet some amazing mentors um, as well. And good time to get married, good time to travel this is wonderful so you're having a really lovely uh saturn you're having lovely saturn and jupiter transits there and they are the big players and they're going to do the most for you so congratulations aquarius moon you're having a good time now we're going to step into pisces moon welcome pisces thank you so much for joining us now we're going to have a look at your fast moving planets for the month and then we're going to have a look at what's happening with slower moving planets so on the 2nd of May, you've got Mars shifting from your 10th house to the 11th house. Um, perhaps you've had some issues with people at your work, seniors at your work. Perhaps seniors are scrutinizing your work a bit more than usual, that kind of thing. But now Mars is going to move into the 11th house. Mars likes the 11th house. This is good news. So good opportunities, increase in wealth, um, just a better time generally to do with your work and you can have the support of friends um, hopefully you know you'll be noticed recognized your status will improve all that kind of things so this is a really good time and that's going to last up until about november type time so that's really really good mercury on the 9th of may is going to shift from your first house to the second house uh, so you might have been experiencing some mental stress um, and that's and that's just in relation to yourself or, or your relationships, um, think, things going on around you. Now, though, when Mercury moves into the second, he likes being in the second. This is good. So you might have a boost to your income. Um, you might be recognized by your peers. It's a good time for learning, great time to meet mentors or be inspired in some way. So this is a good time when it comes to Mercury. Um, let's have a look at Venus. 14th of May shifts from the third house to the fourth house. This is looking fantastic all round. This is great. Uh, business. Business is going to grow. You're going to have courage. You're going to have strength. You're going to have support from family and friends. Um, good time for property dealings. Wonderful Venus transit for you. This is great. So enjoy, you know, before the 14th of May and after the 14th of May. You know, I think you're going to have fantastic Venus energy all month. Uh, sun is going to move on the 15th of May, shifts from your second house to the third house. So expenses may have been high up until this point due to the sun. Um, now you're going to experience some professional progress. So progress on the work front or the business front, that's going to do really well. And uh, if you've got any enemies to topple, well, you might be doing that this month. So that's really good. You've got a nice thing going on here. Uh, let's take a look at your slow moving planets. So yeah, I mean, that's all looking quite nice. Venus and Sun, they're looking really good. And Mercury after the 9th of May too. That's And Mars. Yeah, Pisces, Moon, you're a winner this month. This is really good. I'm impressed. Okay, uh, Saturn retrograde in the 10th house till January 2020. What's been going on there? Okay, so if you have been having issues in perhaps your workplace, this could be why. There's always a reason. There's always a reason. So there's always a reason for if things aren't going great, but then if things are going great, well, and you've got a lot of opportunities for things to be going well. But... If Saturn is causing a problem for you, as it might be doing, um, you might be experiencing issues in the workplace. Um, 
this is a time just to keep building your career. It's the daily grind. It's the how can I incrementally improve my days every day. And it's that kind of thing, that little five minutes of meditation you do every day that ends up creating quite a dramatic shift or a step change in your life. So um, that's something you need to be doing. Good time to look after mum. Uh, if your mum's still around or you know, give a call or take care of your mum. Uh, and be careful with your partner as well in your relationship with your with your partner. Um, Jupiter is in retrograde in the 8th house till October 2018. Okay, so Jupiter doesn't particularly like being here. Um, you know, you're going to have to work harder to succeed. You're going to want to avoid arguments. Your expenses might be higher. Um, definitely want to stay away from legal disputes, that kind of thing. So, yeah, your slower moving planets uh, are not providing the best of energy at the moment but you've got a lot of beautiful positive energy coming from your faster moving planets up there and that's really the outlook for the month of May so thank you so much for joining me this month and next month uh, I'll upload another one of these and I'm still putting these together and, and kind of new to this format so uh you know, I'm going to be experimenting as I go along, but I think I like creating this as part one and part two and putting all the timestamps and then uploading them for you guys to watch. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick with this format. If you have any feedback and you want to let me know how you're liking this format, you're very welcome to do so. Although I don't know anyone else other than Pisces Moon who will be watching this at this point, but if you are a Pisces Moon still watching... <laughs> And you have some ideas on how I put these together um, or some comments, please do share with me. Tell me how you like it. But I'm thinking I kind of like to upload the two big videos and then put all the, the timestamps. So we'll see how we go uh, as the months progress. So thank you so much for tuning in to watch this May 2018 overview and I look forward to seeing you next time.